next topic, we're going to have a look at cytokinesis. So it's a nice short topic. We're just going to look at what is cytokinesis. Cytokinesis in animal cells and plant cells. So what is cytokinesis? This is the process in which the cytoplasm of a single eukaryotic cell is divided to form two daughter cells. And it usually initiates in the late stages of mitosis. So looking at cytokinesis in animal cells, well, the membrane invaginates at the equator. This is caused by microfilaments in a ring around the cell. And this forms a cleavage furrow. Eventually, the membranes join and separate into two separate cells. So you have the membrane invaginating, microfilaments in a ring around the cell, you have the cleavage furrow, and eventually you get two separate cells. So here you can see a photo showing the cleavage furrow in animal cells. What about cytokinesis in plant cells? Now in telophase, the spindle disappears except around the equatorial plate where they increase to form the phragmoplast. The Golgi apparatus produces vesicles which, guided by the microtubules, join to form the cell plate across the equator. This will become the middle lamella and the vesicles contain pectin, hemicellulose, and cellulose. So the vesicle membranes will become the cell surface membrane. The cell plate grows and fuses with the parent cell walls. So it eventually divides into two daughter cells. So two lovely photos to show you the cell plate forming. The cellulose is placed on the middle lamella. The wall formed is the primary cell wall which will allow some growth. The wall may be later thickened using cellulose or lignin to form a secondary wall. And then you might have gaps where there's no wall formed and this forms the plasmodesmata. So here's a nice comparison of cytokinesis between plant and animal cells. On the left you see cytokinesis in an animal cell where a cleavage furrow is forming. And then on the right you see cytokinesis in a plant cell where vesicles containing the cell wall material line up along the equator and these will form the cell plate which will divide the cell into two daughter cells. And that concludes our lesson. The end.